हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ सुपर्ण कुमार शर्मा फैकल्टी मेंबर स्कूल ऑफ बिजनेस श्री माता वैष्णो देवी यूनिवर्सिटी कटरा जे एंड के टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन बिजनेस प्लान फार्मूलेशन एंड प्रिकॉशंस टू बी टेकन इन द फील्ड ऑफ आंटरप्रन्योरियल मैनेजमेंट द रोल ऑफ बिजनेस प्लान इज वेरी क्रिटिकल इवन फॉर अ बिजनेस टू बी रनिंग स्मूथली द रोल ऑफ दिस document known as business plan document is very critical as you can see there are various reasons through which we can understand why writing a plan is important for a new generation entrepreneur even for a older generation entrepreneur the role of business plan document is like a religious book it serve as a guide that will serve you throughout the life of the business very from the very starting to end and in the sense the maturity time all lenders all investors would like to know what you are going to do if you are a new businessman new entrepreneur who is starting a new venture new startup and that's why lenders investors would like to know what you want to do what you will go, going to do what will be the road map how you will be making different steps of growth in your venture that you are about to start i or already have started not only this the role of business plan is very important in the international marketplace it works like the passport for the business to grow because if a business is supposed to grow smoothly without any impediments without any hurdle this document is supposed to be prepared in a very lucid way in the theoretical frame the business plan can be of two type one dimension is a narrow dimension of business plan another is the broad dimension of business plan when i see the traditional or the you say broad dimension of business plan business plan document is a complete uh, document in which marketing dimensions production dimensions dimensions associated with the financial availability dimension uh, associated with the human resource to be collected the kind of technology you will be using in your production process in your venture all are part of it it become critical and significant for an entrepreneur to frame a intelligent and a significant analysis of this dimension you know if we see the general reasons of failures or success of a venture of a business in it market analysis become very very critical and to do that you need to understand what are the failures factor what are the success factors and on the basis of that the complete analysis that you will be preparing will help you to understand why businesses are getting fail are getting success if we see the reasons because of which the failures are occurring first and the foremost failure that from various analysis and studies has been identified is managerial incompetency or inexperience and the solution of it is lying in preparing a intelligent and a sharp and a rational and a balanced business plan another one is lack of technical vision third one is the weak control system and the last one in it is insufficient capital usually we thought that if you don't have sufficient capital you will be a failure answer is no the fourth important factor before that technical vision uh, non availability or weak control system or managerial incompetence is important uh, important factor that play the role on the other side if we see the success reasons hard work drive and dedication is the foremost requirement but before that you should understand if your product is not being demanded into the market if your services are not being demanded into the market whatever you are dealing with the product or service that is demand is very important and the third factor is managerial competency and the fourth last one come is the luck to some extent uh, it also play a very important role in success but important thing is looking to the failures we realize that first three factors are associated with the thoro business plan document absence if it is absent it can be the reason of failure but you can come out of it if you have a thoro documented business plan through which you can identify what are the factors on which you have to work 
what are the sun rising industries where you have to select your product what kind of business policy you will be framing how the production will be made what technology you will be using what type of raw material you will be using how raw material will be arranged and converted into the final product because for, even for a single product to prepare from raw material to the final product there can be more than one technology available so if more than one technologies are available then how to handle them it 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 become a, a matter of you say assessment and judgment and for that business plan is the solution to be made just one example uh, this is a, you say uh, raw data that we have prepared uh, and a comparison of the india and a european union has been made with a green color if you see the data is given that in europe 150000 to 190000 startup in a year is being starting and out of it the raw information is that the failure rate is 40% whereas in case of india where 50000 to 1 lakh startups are introduced in a year failure rate in india is much higher we don't say that uh, one should not take risk definitely one should take but how calculated it is so the role of calculated risk is critical you know basic innovation explains that if you are be innovative in your uh, market you should see that how calculated risk can be taken if the risk is not calculated it can be troublesome and difficult for you to handle that uh, that uh, that venture that type of success and that type of you say development and in it business plan play very important role as i told that it it works like a you say a uh, passport to you in the international market and within the country uh, when you have to arrange raw material when you have to arrange finances the role of business plan is very critical so if i said uh, in a literal word how, uh, how will you define a business plan so it is a document in which the entrepreneur summarizes his or her you say business strategy uh, for the proposed venture or ongoing venture and the process how which uh, how it will be implemented not only strategy formulation but how it will be implemented is part of the business plan so it's a real practical document which will help you to identify who are your customers who are your competitors what type of production you will be needing what kind of production facilities you will be needing what will be the process through which you will be framing the whole structure of your venture who will be partners to you who will be your uh, close competitors who will be your inner circle team members all these are supposed to be for uh, things to be formulated in your business plan so in the business plan three things are very critical to be add, uh, uh, you say addressed with one what is the management structure of your venture will be second what will be the marketing processes of you and what will be the ways through which finances will be arranged and finances will be managed you know sometime it happened that you are able to have funds from various agencies it may be sometime with the venture capital some sometime with the financial institutions of variety of type and sometime from the different other sources uh, you say official sources and sometime from the friend relatives and otherwise it's quite possible but yeah now for the business plan document you have to document it that how uh, funds will be arranged and how they will be managed and how they will be invested in different things so that road map that is the path through which you will be growing over the period of time will be provided through it and uh, don't forget that in a pl business plan document you cannot prepare any castle in the air in preparing a business plan you require that all the supporting document in terms of the finances in terms of the marketing process in terms of the development of your business in terms of the production quality and production quantity that you will be fixing according to the market research of your a uh, venture you can decide the quantity and other quality dimension of your product very carefully it become very very important to understand and i am repeating it again what is the purpose of the business plan and what is the purpose of the business plan is that explain the concept of the proposed business clearly and categorically analyze the market carefully present your strategy in such a way that plan a plan b should be ready of you and what are the what are the strengths and the weaknesses of you the sort analysis of your venture is supposed to be reflected in your business plan and not only this it is also important that how business will be performing how the managerial credentials are there suppose you want to start a venture in a particular field 
So the expertise of that field, if it is not with you, how you will tackle that? Will you be including some, as you say, uh, staff expert of that area or what will be the old dimension related to it will be covered by you is supposed to be addressed very carefully by you. If it is not done, you may face constraints, impediments, hurdles in your different levels of the businesses. It is not necessary that if you have not prepared a business plan, you will not be successful. You, be, you may be successful or you may not be, but if you will be successful, time consumed to do that may be difficult, may be more time consuming or the probability of success may be a bit less in your venture if the first step is not taken with the stable and the confident, confidentiality. If the confidence is there in you at the very beginning of your starting of the venture, your way path will be more powerful and more successful. Normally it is said that the first step, if you have the first step to run your business, that step is in the right direction, then your chances of success probability is a little more. It has been addressed that for whom you are preparing the business plan should be answered by you very carefully. So, who are your target audience for the business plan? First and the foremost is the investors. For any business, the lifeblood is the finances. The lifeblood is the technology. The lifeblood is the quality of raw material that you will be using. Not only raw material, but the quality of raw material. Whether you are buying the raw material in a competitive uh, price, आपका supply chain कितना intelligently managed है, कितना आपका supply chain cost effective है, inventory management आपका cost effective है, these things play very important role and that's why the role of venture capitalists and angel investors come into picture because they people if join your venture at the idea stage or at the implementation stage, you can be a very successful entrepreneur. So, ek entrepreneur ke liye, ye critically important hai ki aap apne venture mein kis tarah ke logon ke liye business plan prepare kar lai. Agar aapka business plan satisfy karte hai aap aur aapke audience like investors, bankers, venture capitalists and potential suppliers satisfied hain आपने अपने वेंचर को स्टार्ट करने का पहला स्टेप 100% स्ट्रेंथफुली एंड पावरफुली प्रिपेयर कर लिया है तो एक एंटरप्रेन्योर के लिए पहला स्टेप सक्सेसफुली गेन करना असेंशियल है और अगर ये ऐसा होता है तो हमारा नेक्स्ट स्टेप जाता है जो है हमारे बिजनेस प्लान फार्मूलेशन के पहले चैप्टर के बाद दूसरे चैप्टर की एंट्री और उसमें होता है Answer of the keywords. Ek business plan mein aapke ye kuch chhe ya saath words hain jinka answer aapko karna hai. Pahla question hai business plan mein jo address hona chahiye. Who means who you are. Aapka kya background hai. Maan li jiye aapka background science se nahi hai, technology se nahi hai. Aur aap kehte hai ki mein ek oxygen bottling plant lagana cha raha hoon. The question is aapki koji background nahi hai. आपका बैकग्राउंड अगर रेस्टोरों चलाने का रहा है या आप रेस्टोरों से आपकी फैमिली बैकग्राउंड कहीं है और आप एक रेस्टोरेंट नया शुरू करते हैं देर इज नो इशू बट आप एक ऑक्सीजन बॉटलिंग प्लांट लगाएंगे यू मे नॉट बी हु इज आल्सो सपोज टू बी आंसर कि आप जो भी वेंचर करना चाह रहे हैं आपके कस्टमर कौन होंगे द फर्स्ट एडॉप्टर ऑफ योर प्रोडक्ट इन टू दार्केट फॉर ए स्मॉल वेंचर इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू आंसर दिस हु विल बी योर सप्लायर मान लीजिए आप एक लेदर इंडस्ट्री यूनिट शुरू करना चाह रहे हैं आपके सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है लेदर यूनिट शुरू करने के लिए आपके लेदर बेस्ड कोई भी आप प्रोडक्ट बना रहे हैं रॉ मटेरियल द क्वालिटी ऑफ लेदर लेदर इफ यू आर गेटिंग आर नॉट दिस फॉर एग्जांपल सो दिस हु इज सपोज टू बी आंसर वेरी केयरफुली द सेकंड इज व्हेन व्हेन रिफ्लेक्ट्स यू कब शुरू करना अपना बिजनेस कितने समय में क्या ड्यूरेशन होगा कब शुरू करेंगे किस लेवल पे शुरू करेंगे दैट्स रिफ्लेक्ट थर्ड वन इज वेयर Where are your customers? Where are your suppliers? Similarly, what? What business you want to start and why that you want to start? 
वट एंड वाई गो ऑल टूगेदर आप बिजनेस मत कीजिए आप कुछ और कर लीजिए सो यू शुड बी रिप्लाइंग योर सेल्फ टाइम एंड अगेन देन हाउ यू विल बी डूइंग दैट फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग द सेम प्रोडक्ट देर कैन बी मोर देन वन टेक्नोलॉजी अवेलेबल सो विच टेक्नोलॉजी यू विल बी यूजिंग लेबर इंटेंसिव कैबल इंटेंसिव इवन इन कैपिटल इंटेंसिव वट टाइप ऑफ यूनिट यू विल बी डूइंग एंड देन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट कम इन टू माइंड इज हाउ मच यू विल बी प्रोड्यूसिंग सो हाउ मच यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग द डिमांड फॉर योर प्रोडक्ट whether you are serving the local market whether you are look at serving the regional market whether you will be serving the national market or international market on the basis of these questions how much will be your demand you will be making a how much production will be answered by you in your business plan and another thing why you want to do it is also looking to the how unique you are why customer will be buying your product in the presence of so many other competitors so this uniqueness of you should be answered and how you will be valuing to the customer what value you will be adding to the customer which is not given by the existing players in terms of quality in terms of price in terms of the sustainability these things supposed to be answered as in the keyword approach in the uh, you say business plan and another thing comes the anatomy of the business plan when you are preparing a business plan you should look to this dimension that you should be looking to the financial dimensions you should be looking to the marketing dimensions you should be looking to the supporting documents and key thing that you need to look a credible defensive business plan must have continuity throughout the document and qualitative should be meeting to the quantitative It means to say if you have claimed that i will my business will be growing at 10% then your all revenue should also grow at the 10% right your sales revenue is connected with your business growth so and for that raw material more will be required and other things will be required inventory management is supposed to be handled accordingly so this is the uh, the business plan document is actually work like a document which is balancing the demand and the supply requirement and meet, meeting it so your marketing plans your organizational plans should reflect the same language and same way so this is a brief i have given you that what should be the structure of the business plan what should be added in the business plan what dimensions are more important and in the last i i just want to conclude that in a business plan the role of financial dimensions the role of marketing dimension the role of production dimensions human resource dimensions are very critical and out of it the first thing that you should keep in mind is the marketing dimensions if your product is not going to have demand in the market and if you are not able to create product uh, you say demand of your products into the market you cannot be successful because ultimately if your product is not being demanded in the market nobody is going to buy it so for a business plan it is very important to look these dimension and why business plan is required i repeated i am repeating it again and concluding it again that a business plan document is a passport for an entrepreneur to enter into the market arena into the business world which is very crucial if you are not able to assess all dimensions of your venture to start with you will be facing difficulties at the end there can be troubles of variety of type so this is a uh, you say concluding remark of mine i hope you will be able to understand how important business plan document is in a venture to start with thank you so much